through the year. It's already, I'm already getting sick of politics. This is, I, 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 I mean in general, I don't mean like I don't want to talk about anything. It's just, I, especially with what's going on and stuff. It's just, I, I, there, there's only two commercials right now. Politics and um, uh, God I zoned it out to watch people Rolex. Neither <laughs> of which I give a shit. Huh. Okay, it's the FBI one. Do we care that the uh, fourth quarter thing shows DSLs dying, cables taking over? Uh, there's not much to say on that. <laughs> yeah. I'll add this one in just because we went off on this particular topic just a little bit. Did you have a tech battle show on Tuesday? Yeah. Was on that we, one. we were uh, Bob was around, Kami wasn't. Um, we we're primarily going over mega uploads, so uh, things like that. Uh, we did a little bit of uh, we did a little bit on ripples. We did comment some on the textbooks. We commented some on the jobs thing uh, and talked. About just you well, I, I mean, does Apple have money or what? Ninety-seven billion, and just cash shipping around. Holy shit, man! Okay, what do we want to start with? Uh, let's kind of categorize them. Right. Let's see here. I, I, I've got them like half categorized, but I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think if we can like better organize this. I mean, the tops, the tops, largely fun stuff. Well, let's just, I guess we'll start in the phones then. So then there's Apple, then there's other stuff, and there's a lot of political tech happened in the last week. Well, we're going to, we'll, we'll segment that off, but uh, we'll start with phones because that ties in anyway, this top three. And if it seems that these are pretty centered around phones anyway. So what is the 18 dollars uh, $6.7 billion deal? Just goes down the tubes, and and, uh, and you know what? It could it couldn't happen to a nicer telecom. It really couldn't. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> yeah, and we all knew that something like that was gonna happen because it was in the contract they made with that. You know, basically, if for some reason the merger didn't go through, they basically got the privilege of giving T-Mobile a lot of money, and. The merger didn't go through, so they got the privilege of giving T-Mobile a lot of money and free access to the AT&T network. 
So, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, if it was any other company than AT and T, I might be able to feel sorry for them. But it's AT and T, you know. <laughs> Do I don't know. I don't want. I think they're all the you. The only thing that makes it hard to feel. Done with, I, I want to be done with cell carriers. I, I really, I really do look forward to a world where I read an article and it was talking about how domain hosts and domain parking companies like uh, GoDaddy uh, are so ubiquitous that it's extremely cheap now to do whatever the hell you want. You can terminate. You can move your domain today and then move it again tomorrow. And uh, how that, how accessing data via our cell phone should be as easy. But hopefully works better than Skype, where you don't freeze like you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I want to. I guess I look forward to a day that we don't have to worry about CDMA or GSM or what have you. Well, I mean, really, at this point, especially given the way everything's transitioning, it really should just be a link device you know it has network access of some type and this is the network it's accessing provided you have enough bandwidth access at the moment things will work well if you don't things will not work well and that really should be how I mean that's how our TV works now that's how uh, our video stuff works now it, it, it more and more stuff I mean really our you know, most home phones work that way now. It's really cell is the last bastion of the old telecom biz model of our specialized specialty network that you have to go through us, the gatekeeper. It, 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 it really is the last true bastion of that aside from maybe network television. I mean, those are like the two holdouts to it's a network. We don't care what the data is or what you're doing with it. This is what you have access to. Uh, it, the, unfortunately, those are the two primary companies trying to hold that transition up with all these bandwidth caps and everything else because they realize they're living on borrowed time at this point. That's yeah. Well, next up, what, uh, Nokia. Uh, yeah, they've uh, they lost some money, but it, it is interesting that with their Windows, Nokia phones are doing well. Well, that's largely what they're pushing, though. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's you know. Windows phones impressive. I like. I almost bought one. I really can't close. It. It, it's, it's impressive. I, uh, I don't like the tile nature, even on the phone interface. Uh, it's actually I, I, I don't even really like it in the Android marketplace because that's the style the Android marketplace has been using sure. for a while it's, I, I, I don't like that UI if you like that UI though it it, it is and, and that's really a matter of taste thing it has nothing to do with it me and Microsoft like I said I don't like it in the Android store either I find myself messing in the Android store more and more in a web browser than I do on the actual Android marketplace in the phone because it's it's more UI I like there. That's um, it, it, admittedly I, I have to admit uh, some of the other uh, marketplace have got that a little more elegantly done. It, it, it's a, it's I think what it is about the um, Metro-like UIs that drives me nuts is they're almost too busy. It feels like every single thing I'm looking at is an ad, and I like it's like I, okay. I hear you. St okay. Stop. Stop. I do. I, yeah. I, I just do like how it's a very new concept, and yeah, you do have to get used to it. But you know, I ended up not 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 going with Windows Phone. I ended up going with the BlackBerry instead. But boy, did I try to become close, and I, and I don't knock. Uh, Windows Phone Mobile at all. I think they're. I think it's a pretty neat uh, design for what they've got. They better late in the game, but uh, you know, kudos to them for a, a good product. So, oh, but I don't think anybody's going to compare now. I mean, geez, it's fourth quarter for Apple, and what do they have? Ninety-seven billion in their bank. 
That'll change. <laughs> oh my god. They could buy hundreds of rims for that. <laughs> you know, and there's there's a lot of people talking about crap like that actually. Yeah, yeah. Rim, rim just changed CEO. The CEO plans to stick with the old. You like Rim. I, I'm... Rim has a great legacy. And they have a great uh, power user, enterprise user base. They have good technology, but I'm look, seeing Rim struggle here. Well, look, yeah. Well, here's what happens: the, 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 the two CEOs that stepped down, they're all like Steve Ballmer. They laugh at the iPhone. Now, I like the iPhone. That's why I own three of them because that was the direction they were going. To go but I, but today, obviously, everybody knows. Rim, back then, just said, no, that's not what we're going to do. And it took them a while, to, even to get to BlackBerry 6 uh, touch interface, um, before, and that, and even at that, they still had to work out some kinks and finally went to BlackBerry OS 7. But their attitude, at least to people that uh, were quoted as saying that, that in, in the meetings, like, there was a guy who held up, but what about this? Taking about their iPhone saying, we can do this, this, and this. Apparently, the CEO, I don't know which CEO, responded, oh, we don't do that. We're not about that. And that's fine. I get that they're not about bu a lot of bubble gum uh, and, and a whole lot of because it's, it's very much a business oriented type of thing, but it doesn't mean business can't benefit uh, from from what Apple was presenting in a direction with the phone. Obviously, a lot of businesses do find iOS useful. So, I, I, and the same with Android. I, I think what it comes down well, to... Well, Android, I heard your several reports, is, it, it, it is BlackBerry and iOS are virtually tied, and then Android is behind the team from business users. As far as I it, it depends on the business. There's a lot of businesses that prefer Android because of the type of apps they need and the way their stuff works. Uh, however, WebOS might be a better contender for that with it doing mm -hmm. what it's going to be doing. Uh, I think what it comes down to, and this is also a debate, you know, the Linux side of thing. There, there are Linux users who think GNOME and KDE is a waste of resources. You know, they just want to open Vim and, and use uh, screens and just go, S -s 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 I'm using 0.0001% of my system on my GUI and the rest is all doing work. work. You know, they're, they're, they're get it done, productivity people, yada yada. Uh, and then there's the people who are like, no, I'm willing to sacrifice a percentage of that for me having to remember less key commands and so on and, and so on and so forth. And, and that's the identity crisis that RIM's having right now because their core user base is these power enterprise pro people. But in power enterprise pro people, they're very divided. The, 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 is, whichever one you pick, you're going to alienate half of them. Uh, I, I'm almost thinking what RIM needs to do, and that it's clear they're not going to do this, at least initially, is actually develop two product lines. You know, they're both BlackBerry, they're both RIM, but one is for the traditional purist, and the other is for, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist, but I, I like I'm willing to make the trade-off for what these new things offer, and, and, and offer both of those lines in line with the rim, rim system. Well, let's, let's put this, this is how late uh, BlackBerry OS 6 was in the game. It was released third quarter 2010. That's... Yeah, I know. They're, 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 they're more behind than Microsoft, and everybody agrees oh, Microsoft wow. is yeah. behind. It's... That, I mean, that's... Whew. So, that severely hurt the... But see, Rim, I, 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 hope, I hope they can make a rebound. Uh, you know, other companies have been able to make rebounds, and, and, and I think that part of it is that Rim has pioneered a lot of, uh, of like business models for like making fees off of licensing and this and that. Uh, their back-end servers, services that they provide are, are fantastic. And there's uh, like these proxy server use things that they're, that they're employing for a lot of their enterprise software to reduce lag and all this other stuff. Well, that, that's the third thing they could do. RIM could integrate themselves into the other platforms as the standard for the services they provide. 
Yeah, it, it's it, there. I, I think, and, and I don't, I don't think that this new CEO is quite wrong in the path. They have to go to BlackBerry Ten. That's the path. Uh, don't change that path. They need to go to BlackBerry Ten. Now, as far as the town is concerned, if they continue this BlackBerry Bridge thing, which I like because it smacks the carriers in the face. It's all about utilizing the two. It, 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 yes, you can. Uh, I'm not speaking about like doing a tethering to a laptop and having a full blown OS. There's a mobile world and mobile applications out there that people like. The BlackBerry playbook is very portable, and the, and the form factor people are beginning to appreciate in business. I think. So as long as they make that relationship, from what I've seen with BlackBerry Playbook 2 uh, software coming out, they're expanding on that stuff, and I think they need to continue to do that. Now, they could probably change their their marketing a, a bit and, I think, stick with the hard keyboard. That that, that has got the faithful there, and they need they need to make sure that they wow us with BlackBerry 10, uh, with, with, with uh, BBM, and with, uh, with the email, and all of our expected BlackBerry services. And I think that they'll, they'll do just fine. They're still considered the most secure for business and enterprise. So that I think that that's something fantastic that they can build on. They're never going to to be attractive. I, may, I, may, I don't want to say never, because I'm told by people in the UK that a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of women like Blackberries in the UK. I, I don't, I've heard that from a few people that live over there. As far as the United States is concerned, I, I, I've seen I've seen a few, you know few women uh, that that I guess wouldn't be using it for, for business that that's you know that's the personal fun phone, but uh, heck, it, 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 they if they cater to who they originally enticed as their demographic and keep them and get them back from defecting to other platforms, I think they'll do okay. They're not going to be ever as big as a bubble gum bubble. Uh, with 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 the fun and all that other things, it's just well. No, see, that, that that's the thing I I'm, I'm that's making me worried about BlackBerry. I'm afraid that what they're going to start to do is run after, like you say, the bubble gum. They're going to start to run oh, after the sh I, yeah. And, and if 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 they make that mistake, they will alienate their entire core user base. Uh, that'll be the end of BlackBerry because the, the reality is on Bubblegum they can't outcompete the other offerings. They're too far damn yeah. behind at this point. Yes. And if and they Rena try and run after it, yeah, Rena, Steve, they didn't lose customers to iOS and Android uh, because of the Bubblegum. It's because it took them forever to get useful functionality. Uh, uh, BlackBerry users who defected liked the ability of applications and, and using the touch screen and the business uh, services that could have been, that can be rendered with it with, with a touch interface in that model of the applications and services thereof. And so they, there were, I mean, small amounts of applications on, on BlackBerry, but not to the not to the scale of touch um, usability that you see in Android and iOS. And it took them, like I said, for the quarter three, 2010. Now, my OS 7 has, has the app world and all that, but they didn't really start playing that hugely like you see now, early on. So they they can do this with, with BlackBerry 10. The BlackBerry users that they that have defected are not are not going to are not the kind of demographic that get enticed with all the damned apps and Android and iOS. They just want the phone to really. They get enticed different. with the damned useful apps. That's about it, which are yes. a very small list on all platforms right now. So they need to they need to make sure that that does it well, and, and I think they're adding some new cool services uh, coming up. So I think that they're they're, they're not going to be the leader with the new bubblegum thing. Look, Apple created a whole new demographic. That's it. Period. There's, there was the I, 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 I'm not sure it's a new demographic. I, I think I think it's the demographic that has it, it's existed since we've had tech. There's been the people who want to get work done and the people who want to play. Well, and, well, and they well, they go around to the textures, the textures and the fun and the little game things. iOS created this smartphone realm essentially from that that fly by night uh, go hippity demographic that that. Rim is not going to entice. It's, it's just why would a business brand, 
it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And, and Britain doesn't need to be the biggest in the world. Um, although, if they do, I will say if they do get back most of the people who defected, business tends to bleed into everything else. And then people begin to say, well, eh, the luxury starts losing at that point. So that might be long term. That might, I'll say, might happen long term. But short term, they just need to get back the people that defected and, 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 and give them the damn services they need and, and uh, with the best quality. Um, everything else, you know, as part of the package with that. 